Hello, this is Shiley from Sheepishly Made. Um, today we're going to do the tutorial um, for the Sheep on the Hills felted picture. Here's what we're going to be making today. This is a larger version um, and we're going to be using a smaller hoop for this project. The materials you need for this project, um, you need a background piece I use um, pre-felt and if you're using one of my kits this will be the materials you have. This is a approximately five by five inch um, piece of pre-felt and then I have embroidery hoop um, which is the four inch and then I have varying colors of wool today. Um, I have several greens I have some blue brown and then I also have a little bit of white and black you don't need the exact colors I'm using um, you can just use different shades of green as you see in the hills um, blue, brown, white, and black. So I'm going to get my felting mat here. I have a large felting mat. Um, it's a wool mat. You can find them online. Um, with my kits I sell the foam felting mats. These ones are a little bit more of an investment. <clears throat> so to start out this project we're going to put um, the background piece into our embroidery hoop. So you lay the hoop on the bottom, the regular hoop. This one goes on the top. And then you put your background piece on it, centered over it. And then you slide the tightening hoop over top. Make sure it's fairly centered. You need to loosen it a little bit. Just like that. And then I'm going to tighten it up. So we're going to be doing our felting um, for this project while it's in the hoop. Um, so you get that nice um, even circle all the way around. So we're going to start um, by making the hills. We're going to start in the front and make our hills as we go back. So the first green I start out with um, is this one here and I blended some wool for that one so you have this like minty kind of color here and then the real bright green so you want to take a little of each of those so I got a little bit of each and then I lay them on top of each other this is how I blend small amounts of wool. On um, this one I don't have blended, um, like super blended. It's more of so you can see each color. But you just grab each end and pull them. And then put them back on top of each other. Just like that. And you only need to do it a few times then you can use that wool for the first hill here. So you'll only need a little bit. And you can take your felting needle now. Um, and just this is, you have to gently felt this down so your background piece doesn't go all the way down and get stuck to the mat very much. And when we're felting this, you can only felt over to the edge 
um, where the hoop is underneath. We will pull it out later so it's so the belted part is all the way to the edge. So just be careful um, close to that edge. You don't want to felt too hard or you're going to break your needle on that wood there. So I'm just going to make a little hill like this. So I'm going to go all the way along the edge here first. And this one goes about to halfway up the hill. So we're just going to lightly felt this down. You can add a little bit more wool <clears throat> as needed. And I'm always keeping the top of the hoop up top. I'm going to make this edge a little rounder. gently felt okay so I got that first hill done now when I pull this off my mat I'm gonna slide my finger underneath and kind of push up that background so I'm not just pulling it off Now for the second hill, we're going to do over here, I'm using this, um, it's like a lime green type, like a real light lime green, and we're going to put that right here. Okay, I'm going to slide my finger underneath and gently push the background up. Okay, now we're going to use this darker green. And this one goes kind of in the middle. So we got the dark green, um, now we're going to use this really bright green and do a little hill here on the right side. Okay, and now I'm going to add um, the brown for the field.
and gently lift up. There we go. And now we're going to add uh, the blue sky here. So this nice, nice bright light blue color. I'm going to lift up. Okay, and now I'm going to add um, a little bit of, that's just a little darker blue. I'm just going to put a little bit across the sky. And then take a little bit of white, just very small bit of white for some clouds. I like to still be able to see through them. See through the white there. Okay. Just gonna make sure all this is felted down. So on this part of the green, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that darker green and just put little small pieces on here. Gives it a little bit of a darker color. And then on that back hill, Use a little bit of the light green. I'm going to take a little bit of black here, just small pieces, and put it lengthwise across the our field back here. All right, now we can add our sheep. So I'll be taking um, some white, just little bits of white here. And then you'll just felt some small white ovals first. And then I extend off of the front of the shape where I want the neck to be just a little bit. 
So it just comes out front slightly and then the head will be right here. We're going to do all the white first. So now we're going to take the black and we'll just take small little pieces and I like to roll them up in between my fingers for the head. And very carefully just one deliberate stab at a time pushing that wool slightly in and if I can make the the nose a little bit more pointed than the back of the head. I got the four heads felted. So now we're going to do the legs. So again, we're just going to take small amounts of the black and I roll it between my fingers, not a ball this time, but like in a cylinder. We're working with such small pieces, we just have to do it very carefully and slowly. And these legs don't have to be very long. Now the last thing we're going to do is add some trees. So for the trees, I'm going to take um, the darker green, a darker green, and just a little bit of this bright green. And then we're going to take a little bit of black and we're going to blend these. Small amounts of this color, this dark green we just blended with the black and I'm gonna make a tree right here it's gonna overlap the sheep just a little bit these are some pine trees so we're just gonna make little triangles but I want to be behind this hill so you're gonna go with the angle of the hill just like that. And then I make some trees over here.
and I want to you want to make them smaller as you go back so you know it's more like a landscape view so the last ones I'm gonna do are way back here so I make really little triangles there's some more pine trees back there Okay, that's about it. So now we're going to tighten up um, our picture in our frame here. So I'm going to first loosen the hoop a little bit. And then I'm going to gently pull on the background piece so it comes out to the edge more. You want it a little bit loose, but still tight enough that it's going to hold and not pull apart. Tighten it up a little bit more. And I'm going to go around and just gently pull this out to the edge. So the final thing we need to do is get this all nice and neat. So to do this, you're going to need um, a hand sewing needle and thread. So I'm just going to start at the top and I'm going to put my needle through a little bit of the fabric here and pull it um, almost all the way through leaving a little tail. You just need to make a tail long enough that you can tie a knot with it. So I'm going to tie a knot here and you leave the tail on so you can use it at the end. And then I'm going to go around this whole piece here and you're just going to go in and out of the fabric. And I just pull it Pull it tight and then keep going. You don't have to hold it super tight. I just go along the edge. And then we'll stop about right where we started. So now you want to pull that tight and tie a knot. So you want to make sure it stays tight when you tie your knot. Make sure it's nice and tight.
And then after you have your knot, you can trim the thread. Leave about a quarter inch tail on there. But now it's nice and neat. Um, I had some longer tails on here that I can cut off as well. They'll make it lay a little bit more flat. And now you have your little felted picture. Um, you can even hang this up by making, um, you could string something on here, a little wire, and put a hook on the wall. Um, you can find little hooks at the hardware too as well to hang um, this up. So there we go. So if you have any questions or comments, you can comment on the video below, um, or you can send me an email at mcslivestock at gmail.com. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook is Sheepishly Made and MCS Livestock. Instagram is at Sheepishly Made. Thanks for watching. Have fun.